All right, let's graph the linear equation for y equals 1 third x minus 3. And you can do it two ways. You can use slope-intercept form or you could use a table of values. We're going to use slope-intercept form in this video. You get the same graph either way. So let's look at the y-intercept. That's b. That's negative 3. What that means is on our graph here, we're going to cross the y-axis at negative 3. That's where our line will cross the y-axis right there at negative 3. Then for m, that's the slope. We think of that as rise over run. So 1 is rise, 3 is run. We go to our point here, our y-intercept. We rise the 1, go over 1, 2, 3. Do it again from this point. Rise the 1, go over 1, 2, 3. You can see we have our three points. Could go in the opposite direction. Go down 1, and then to the left, 1, 2, 3. Down 1, to the left, 1, 2, 3. And those points, they're on our graph as well. They're right there on the line. Let's put a line through it. Let me put arrows to show that this goes to infinity, and that is the line or the graph for the linear equation y equals 1 third x minus 3. If you put a value in for x and you get a value for y and you graph that, it's going to be somewhere on our line here. It's Dr. B, and thanks for watching.